What's up everybody, Raul back with another video. Today I'm gonna to show you the little things I taken care of on the ruckus, off camera. In the meantime, while I was waiting for the rest of the parts to come. So with that being said, let's get to this video. What's up everybody, Raul back with another video. In this ruckus vlog series, this is going to be the video where I'm going to finish up the little things on the ruckus. I'm going to get a lot more parts installed and then also show you what I have already done on the ruckus off camera while I was waiting for the remaining of the parts to show up. So the remaining of the parts that are going to show up today will pretty much get this bike started and running. And then after that, we'll move on to the tuning. That's going to what's going to make the bike run here. It's going to get the tuning done. We're going to get all up in the carburetor. We're going to fine tune it. We're going to do a lot more other stuff. And then we're going to start working on to the CVT transmission because I don't have that in yet. So then we're going to have to go back and then retune it for that also and make sure everything is dialed in so that way we can get the max performance out of this uh, 150cc GY6. And then we're going to push it to the limits and see what this baby can do on the streets. But for now, we're gonna put the parts on, we're gonna finish up the little touches, and then I'm gonna show you the little things I did off camera, which are, you know, not too crazy, but just little things I can do just to buy some time, you know, work on the bike, just, you know, add little final touches to make this bike more my taste and, you know, give it my personality. So, with that being said, let's jump into this video. Let's finish up this ruckus. What do you say? Yeah? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Welcome everybody. It's good to see all of you back at my channel Watching this little build series Follow me along. Thank you again, but let's take a closer look at this bike and I'll just go through it and then I'll explain a few things that I did off-camera so you're up to date with everything so I did remove the battery box and what I did was I went ahead and polished these up because I did have some overspray. So I took care of that. I did take care of the bars, cleaned all that up. Also cleaned up the front end. The frame is good. Cleaned up the foot pegs, well the foot bar. And then the whole frame, I went ahead and polished that up. Took care of all that overspray. The other thing you see here is I had an extra cable that came with the stock motor that had two ends on it that was actually attached over here on this side so usually you scrap that you get rid of it and then you attach the factory harness so what I did here was since I did do a wire tuck on this bike I did need to extend the harness for the ground to run it where I wanted it to run so what I did was I actually cut the ground off the other one while I cut the plug off the other one the stock uh, cable if I have a few pictures I'll pull I'll put them up in the corner right here on the video so you'll know what plug I'm talking about and they may vary from motor to motor depending I'm not too sure but this is the plug I got and then what I did was I chopped the harness and what I did was I extended it using that plug and then of course wrapped it with the wire the wire loom and then it has that rubber boot on it so now instead of having that traditional old washer type with the green cable coming out and just screwed down it now has this wire sleeve rubber boot and it covers the actual plug that you screw in and it covers it so it's actually protected from the elements which it's not a big deal but it also looks a lot cleaner you see that so that's what I did now it's ran the way I wanted behind the frame um, other thing here is I bolted up the bottom portion of the exhaust on that side with the gasket and then I put the cooling shroud on the bottom. I'm going to put the other ones too. Like I said, this carb is still loose. It's not uh, bolted on because it is hitting. I still need the clocking flange to put that on. Once the clocking flange comes, I'll be able to cut the top uh, air shroud if I need to. If not, slip that in, put it all back together and then we'll be good there. We work our way back here. 
a lot of these um, extra pieces like here and then the one that goes in the front that actually holds the front frame cover those are actually wheel caps that I had left over from mountain bike wheels and I use those as anodized washers because it works the same th <laughs> the same way so it matches my dress up kit and then I did make this bracket here it's a custom bracket for my plate I didn't want it back here like you commonly see I did have it up like this got hassled by the LA cops <coughs> didn't like it so then I moved it sideways <coughs> excuse me I moved it sideways and it just stuck I just felt like it stuck out so far from the bike it just made the whole bike look uncomfortable so especially now that the bike's gonna have like that whole slim look to it uh, because there's no big oil exhaust and all that junk going on I wanted to move the plate somewhere else so I didn't really see anything as an option for mounting the plate so what I did was I used this back plate that's actually um, this mount that's already attached to the ruckus and this part here where that sensor comes off and I made a bracket that sits here and here also and then I did get a piece of aluminum make it the same distance as the frame round it off the edges so it's nice and smooth drill some holes attach the frame and now we got a really solid license plate mount and with this here sticking out I can bend the plate up bend it down whatever I need to once I put the bike down I'll be able to know if I need to move the plate or not but I think I have a good amount of distance here for travel I still have to adjust this once the bike sits on the floor so that's another thing I just want to update you with and these actual anodized screws came off from the front because putting this on eliminates that so I transferred those over here so that was a win-win now we work our way back here and I got the the original actual um, cam here that came with this replacement was really tiny so I actually got this one off of the stock uh, get motor brake assembly so what I did here is they were kind of like silver so I just went ahead and painted these up red just to give it a little bit of a pop back here with the red accents and I like it it's looking good so I went ahead and did that that's looking good there let's work our way around here <coughs> excuse me give you a back shot of the bike the plate is looking good I really like how it looks there other thing is I picked up some um, valve caps just to better address these uh, Project Kia lug nuts so I picked these up here not too bad but they're capping off the stage 6 valve stems so if you see there they're like that neochrome finish with the little spike then I got the neochrome lug nuts and then I got the neochrome dipstick and it's looking really good with those accents and then work over here this is all off and the reason for that is because I still have to put the stator in and then I'm gonna go ahead and put that shroud back and then I'll go ahead and put the GP exhaust on and fully assemble it but as for now it's tight ready to go and then we work our way over here everything is good um, one thing I do want to mention I don't know if I mentioned it in the other video is a lot of these plugs that I have here like this one and then I think oh yeah this one back here these were bent this way so what I did was I filed it down with the Dremel and I bent it back this way to hold all these plugs into place on this side of the frame and then I tucked it in so it keeps the plugs nice and tight up and then I kept these here so I can have these still hid behind the frame and then this right here that actually holds the coolant I left that there just so the cable has something to sit on and you won't have no slack this one here is actually faced out so what I did was I got some pliers I twisted it and then I bent it in now it looks a little silly right here but I left it like that because I still have to run the rolling wrench 
wire harness system to the back. Once I get that all dialed in and wrapped, I'm gonna go ahead and bend this in to the frame, which will bring this all the way down. And that will bring the cables tight to the frame and then keep that tucked like that. So that's another thing to keep in mind if you're gonna go this route. But other than that, everything is pretty much up to date with you guys. The only thing I'm gonna start taking care of while I'm waiting for that box to come today is I'm going to go ahead and install this new fuel filter and the uh, fuel pump is actually new on that. Uh, that's another thing I did is I changed out all the hoses. So that's ready there. You can see here all the hoses are changed out. Let's see if I can get a better angle in there. There you go. So that fuel pump is good. That fuel filter is good. But the one right there that's all yellow, that's the one's bogus, but I left it there. And then all the, let's see if I can get closer. All the hoses are all clear. Helix, purple, I guess you would call this, oh, hoses. So that looks good. I'll be able to see my fuel running through the lines to make sure I have no issues or hiccups while I'm out on the road. And then I had these here, so I'm gonna go ahead and install these. So these are gonna be the mirrors that are gonna attach to the bar ends. So that's what I'm gonna take care of today. You can better see, see that? These are actually, there you go. I'm on the GoPro, so I don't get that nice high definition focus, but you can see right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of all this, get that installed. And then once I get my box, I'll go ahead and be able to install everything else, tighten everything up. And then hopefully we can get this bike cranked over today. So let me get to it. Thank you for following me along. This one's gonna be a little bit longer of a video, but I'll probably break it up into two. This one being the parts install and then the final video being the crank over. So stay tuned. Bear with me. Thank you for following me along. Let me get to it and then I'll show you the progress. Thank you. All right, everybody. Bike's taken apart. The last box is here because I've been patiently waiting for this box to arrive now. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get this open and hope that everything is in here so we can get this ruckus started today now my mailman okay while i open this i'm gonna give you a, a little story right now my mailman usually comes around 11 12 o'clock okay it is three o'clock the one time i actually want something from the mail it takes a sweet time so everything is taken apart ready to pop everything in so I am hoping that it's all in here everybody so this is from Matt at Rolling Wrench so here is the uni filter nice thank you let me turn my alarm off really quick all right sorry about that oh so Got the uni filter. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate that. Right here, we got the Trail Tech digital gauge. Gonna put that on real quick. Now, if you're watching my video, you'll probably have seen I did that custom mount. Eee, look at that, another keychain. That's going to my buddy. He needs one himself. Got some more oil right there. Oh, everybody, look at that. Freshly made. What is this one? Oh, please let it be. Yes, it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Pull stator. Perfect. Yes. Look at this. Oh, yeah. The 20 minute install wire harness from Rolling Wrench, everybody check that out look at that nice let's 
flip this over very carefully. That is so beautiful. Look at this. It's awesome. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Just beautiful. This is gonna be ha <laughs> my hub. Finally you're here. Yes. And it's nicely powder coated black. Let's put that down there. What is here? This is gonna be yes, finally. Finally, for the bottom. Yes. So the banjo bolt right there, so I can finish the bottom. And. Yes, here it is. The gear up kit. Got that. Nice. Sour patch. Candy, another sticker, the clocking flange, the tool, yes, to pull a flywheel, and then we got my CVT kickstand, everybody. Oh man, look at that. Finally, it's all here. It's all here. And this should be the gasket. Yes. <laughs> now I got like two gaskets. All right, everybody. That completes the unboxing. Sorry, it's a mess. I got everything laid out, but I've been waiting to get this bike started. So I'm going to actually finish up here put that all on there and crank it over so let's get back to it let's get it started and let's finish it up what's up everybody yep it's nighttime so I know you just seen the previous clip where I was actually saying oh let me open the box let me get to it I got a lot to get to well guess what I ran into a problem I started over here with the clocking flange and it didn't work out I'm missing two bolts that go into the clocking flange. So, needless to say, I was looking everywhere for two bolts that would work for that situation. I don't have anything, so I actually have to go pick some up tomorrow. But then by the time I wasted all that time, actually, um, I didn't get to do anything on the bike. So, we had a graduation dinner for my daughter and her cousin. <laughs> I didn't get nothing done on the bike, which is fine, because that was more important. But that explains why I'm actually here right now, because it's nighttime. I am determined to finish this bike. I have all the parts here, sitting here, and I'm going to get it done. So tomorrow, I go pick up the two bolts, and that'll be the last thing I need to do. But yeah, so now you know why it's nighttime. I'm just over here chilling with my box from Rolling Ranch, <laughs> putting everything on and getting it done. So let me finish this up and then we'll continue tomorrow. Let's do it. Alright everybody, working on doing the 20 minute install 
for the rolling wrench wire harness kit add-on and I just want to say I already did the tall pole stator I ran the spark plug wire down there somewhere I don't know if you can see it it's pretty dark let me see if I could grab it it's here that is tucking it in you can see here so it's tucked in perfect length only if you go with the smallest setting for the Mojo's custom mount which is an 8 inch or 8.5 inch bar now if you go any bigger than that I can see it probably being a little bit of an issue you could probably go um, maybe the second largest stretch but that would be pushing it but for the smallest stretch for the Mojo customs mount it works out perfect there's even a little slack so it's not too crazy Ugh. let me show you something now so for those that want that clean finish there's this starter solenoid with the boot and you throw it over and zip tie it down if you want a cleaner finish make a T on each side let me see if I could get it because I'm using a GoPro now do a slice this way and a slice down where the one cable goes and do another T slice and then what you do is you wrap it around tying the cables down pull it over and then you finish with a zip tie so that way when you go ahead and mount this you're gonna have that clean finish of a boot oh, I'm trying to see here and record it saying so you're gonna have that clean finish there so just want to add that into my footage just so most of you out there that do get this harness which I highly recommend um, you can take this route to just make it a little bit cleaner now if you have a better way of doing this leave a comment down below I'd love to hear it but yeah so let me get back to finishing this bike and I can see how Matt says this is a 20 minute install because it's really simple easy fast but being my case I have the wire tuck it's just a little bit longer but not that long because it's fairly simple so I already got most of the main wires through I'm just finishing up the solenoid and then gonna crank it down back here and then that's pretty much it so let me get to it and then I'll update you with anything else that I hit or an obstacle and we'll go from there what's up everybody Raul back with an update and I want to show you the bike but uh, I'll show you really quick right ready one two three boom look at that all right back to me story time so when you seen the previous clip you saw me working on a bike later at night that was about three in the morning 3 30 when I got done by the time I got in I was really exhausted and tired and the reason for that was because I was supposed to go riding the following day and I wanted to do it right but then we had this graduation dinner for my daughter and her cousin for their fifth grade graduation so I had to drop everything I was doing and then spend some family time and then when I came back I stood out here late at night so that's the reason for me being up late at night I wanted to get done I wanted to do it right I didn't want to just fly through it it was just little things that I had to get done while well, you seen the stuff in the box and I got it done but then I ran into two issues one issue was I was missing some bolts for the carb the the what is it the clocking flange and then also a brake blade issue that I wanted just to address the following day so I got some brake pressure out of it the following day so I was able to test ride it using that and the rear brake. So I got some pretty good numbers dialing in the carb and stuff. I still have some more tuning to do. But for now, I just wanted to show you that the bike is running. We're going to start it right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it out in front of the garage. So that way we can get a better look at it. Because right here where you saw under the patio, I'm just the table. And I got the YSR50 over there. Just There's so much going on here. I want to roll it out. And then we'll take a closer look and then I'll address everything that I did to it and everything I did to get it to where it is now. Turn the key, crank it on, and then following this footage, you'll see the first ride. So stay tuned. 
let's get to it all right everybody so here we go there it is my 2017 honda ruckus 150 gy6 swap Thank you guys, thank you to all the shops. Thank you Matt for all your help rolling wrench. Appreciate it. And that's it. I'm signing off and like always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Just ride safe. Peace. I didn't get done till three in the morning. Well, 3.30. And then by the time I made it inside, it was almost close to four. Nailed it. <laughs>